Okay, you ready for today's lesson where God uses random stuff? It's a good one. He's so cool. I mean, he's so cool, seriously. And he put in my heart to tell you guys that he wants to speak to every single one of us. He wants to speak to every single one of us. He wants to be our best friend and he wants to have a relationship with us. And how we hear from him is to open our heart asking questions. The Bible says you do not have because you do not ask. A lot of people message me and say, how do you hear from God? I don't know if I'm hearing from you. A lot of people think conscious. They think that that's conscious to the God. Listen, if it lines up with the word of God, it's God. I mean, he, that's the Holy Spirit. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Look, I got my nails done. And it cute, 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 cute. Got my hair cut off too. Cute. Okay. All right. That's not about it. Okay. Listen, I get in the car and <laughs> there's a bottle <laughs> that was in here this morning. It's been 96 degrees in my car. Um, it's cute. See that? Mmm, yum. Yum, yum. And I was driving. I mean, I'm not driving now, but I was driving. I was like, oh, God, what kind of story we got? What kind of, what kind of lesson from the bottle? You know. So he lays in my heart this. This bottle was not supposed to be in the car right? I mean, you don't leave bottles in the car with formula in them. So it's spoiled. He said, that's the same way that you are, or that you get when you go places you're not supposed to be. And I'm thinking, well, I don't go places I'm not supposed to be. I mean, what are you talking about? And he said, you do with your mind, Christina. Mmm. And he started showing me. Mmm. When I go to the place of comparing myself to others, when I go to the place of worry, when I go to the place of my past, when I go to the place of guilt and shame for things I've already repented and asked for his forgiveness for, when I go to the place of maybe there's something that we think of that puts us in the wrong state of mind. I mean, let's just say it. Maybe there's lustful thoughts and we, we go there in our mind and we we let ourselves think about it, okay? More and more, we don't we don't throw it away, okay? Because thoughts jump in your mind, they jump. The devil's steady throwing them, but we have the power to capture and throw them out and replace it with the right thoughts, okay? He also said, um, when you go to them places of, um, gr what did he say, greed, when you're being greedy, when you go to them places of ungratefulness and pity party, that's what he told me, he said, when you go to them places, you spoil inside just like this bottle. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, this bottle is supposed to be in the house. If it had been in the house for five or six hours, it wouldn't look like this, right? It wouldn't look this bad. I mean, it wouldn't be healthy, nobody drink, but it wouldn't look like this. Because this was left in a hot car for five hours. Okay. When we go to places we're not supposed to be, we spoil. Ah! Oh, catch it. It's, he's so good. He is. I mean, I could just cry. He's so good. He's so faithful. Mm. He's so faithful and good to us. I mean, I could just seriously like have a major praise break right now. Okay, I won't go because I don't want to. I won't mess up my makeup. I love y'all. Bye.